All right, Abdullah might want a mature and responsible convert from the Caribbean. And Faisal might want an 18-year-old school dropout from his area in London in the UK. Ali might even want an independent boss babe Muslimer who actually, no, no one wants that. But these are all personal preference that are going to be different from person to person. The question is, what should we all be looking for as a base level foundation for our ideal wife? Assalamu alaikum, I'm Amin and I wrote this book on Islamic masculinity and this channel is dedicated to you. So the first thing to look for in a wife is that she fears Allah. And I know this is cliche, but it's really, really that important. She has to be someone who's driven for the akhirah. She's driven to go to Jannah and that affects her day to day life. It affects her conduct, how she behaves, what good things she does and what bad things she avoids. And it means she's going to be trying her best to act like the Prophet ﷺ, like the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, when it came to how they were with their husband. And this is the important bit. This doesn't just mean that she's going to behave well to you. In the worst case scenario, if things don't go well, she's not going to do a madness like using the court system against you to oppress you. So it's always good that no matter what, there is that base level of foundation of fear of Allah and giving that importance in her life. Now, after having fear of Allah and living in an akhirah focused way, the number two trait, this is a very practical one, very logical one, but it throws some people off and that is obedience. Now, some of you might find this weird to say, but the Prophet ﷺ said it himself. He was asked, what is the best wife like? And he said, the one who when her husband looks at her, it makes him happy and she obeys him if he instructs her to do something. So the Prophet ﷺ himself said, a good wife is an obedient wife. So yes, we want a wife who obeys us in what is halal, of course. When it comes to something haram, she should actually, because of her fear of Allah, she would rebel at that point. She would say, no, I can't cross that line. Now, how much you ask her to do things, that's up to you. That's another story. But the fact that she has that obedience, it gives you the number one thing that every man wants. And that is respect. There's just something about knowing that if I was to ask my wife to do something, she would do it. It's that that just fills you with this respect. You feel respected and that's why it's so important. They say that there are two things very important for a marriage. That a man feels respected and a woman is given affection and attention. So if the woman gets that from you and you feel respected, then the marriage is on a very strong grounding. So yeah, obedience, you don't have to use it, but just the fact that you know she'll listen if you ask her to do something, it's powerful in and of itself. Now next is attraction, physical attraction. This does kind of seem obvious for a lot of us, especially men, of course, but what you won't often hear is that you need to be attracted to your wife. You don't need to have your jaw drop every time you see her. You just need to be attracted. What I've seen time and time again is guys who are dropping a good girl who has those other traits like fear of Allah, like obedience, but they're dropping her not because she's not attractive, but because she's not jaw droppingly beautiful. Now look, there will always be another girl who looks a certain way. And to be honest, a lot of the time it's just illusions from makeup. But what is more rare than someone who's really, really beautiful jaw dropping is someone who's obedient or someone who fears Allah. So really you've got to put things into perspective in terms of how rare those traits are. And if you find someone with those rare traits, grab onto them as long as you're attracted. Now, the next thing is gender role. You and your wife have to have the same idea of gender roles, what your role is and what her role is in the family. Now, there is a base level of gender roles of our understanding from Islam itself. Like the man is going to be the provider. The man is going to be the leader of the household and all of that. But a lot of the little details of who's going to be changing nappies, who's going to be taking the bins out, who's going to be doing the grocery shopping. This comes down to your culture, your upbringing and the practicalities of your day to day life. And if you have big differences in your expectations when it comes to gender roles, this is going to be a big, big problem in your marriage. These gender roles that we have from our upbringing, a lot of the time we just learnt it from what we saw our parents do or what we saw from the media and it's very hard to change it down the line. So you want to make sure you marry someone who's on the same wavelength as you when it comes to her role and your role. And another very important trait that you want in your wife is gratitude. You know, we work very hard to provide for our family to hopefully give them that time, that attention, that affection. And we take pride in that. So what we want to get back is just gratitude. And gratitude often actually translates into respect, a feeling of being respected. So if your wife obeys you and she shows you gratitude, you're going to feel so respected. And from your side, at least, that's going to make the marriage extremely strong. And you've probably heard stories of women that are not very grateful and how it makes the man feel deep down. And you don't want that feeling. So the way you can see 
a woman is grateful is how she interacts with her father, how she talks about her father and what he's done for her. That will be a good sign for you. And now if you're looking to get married, these are the traits you want to look for in a wife. But if you're looking for a wife with these good traits, then you're going to want to have good traits to attract her in the first place. So to learn about those traits that you're going to need, check this video out right now. Holding on to this rope tied up in his ribs gonna last